everyone it's ccp decode in this video we will discuss the solution for this lab after starting the lab log in your google cloud console with username one then come on to task number one copy this name bucket paste it here in okay wait click on this i agree and agree and continue then paste that bucket name here in search box and open this first option in new tab now we have to create a bucket so click on this create and for name come on to lab instruction copy this name and paste it here then click on this continue then select reason from here and for me it's you it's us central one okay so okay. now simply click on continue and then scroll down you will get this create option then simply click on this create then click on this confirm Okay, once you get this type of message, created a bucket, then simply come back to lab instruction page. You can click on check my progress for task number one, you will get the green tick. Now come on to task number two and copy this name pop sub, paste it here in search box, and open this first option in new tab. Uh, now in task number two we have to create a pop sub topic so click on this create topic now for topic id simply come back to lab instruction you will get this name copy this name paste it here in topic id and scroll down you will get this create option click on this create Then wait for some time. Okay. When you get this type of message, a new tab, new topic, and new subscription have been successfully created. It means you are done with task number two. Simply come back to lab lab instruction and click on check my progress for task number two you will get the green tick here now come on to task number three copy this name cloud run paste it here in search box and simply open this first option in your tab now here in this task we have to create a function so now click on this write a function now for this service name come on to lab instruction page scroll down a little bit and the point number one of task number three copy this name paste it here in service name now for reason for me it's us central one Oh, which is already selected us central one is already selected now click on this add trigger and then select this cl cloud storage trigger and also make sure that in runtime node.js22 is already selected so after clicking on this add trigger you will get this type of window then click on this enable okay so once click on this cancel and again click on this add trigger 
and then select cl cloud storage trigger in this bucket field click on this browse and select this uh, select this bucket name which you have created in previous step and then click on this select then click on this grant again grant and again grant give it if you also face this type of error then again click on this grant okay uh, you will get this type of message for permission has been granted successfully then cross click on this cross and then click on this save trigger now scroll down little bit you will get this container volume network and security click on this and scroll down then from this execution environment uh, select this second generation and then click on create now once you get this type of interface then come back to live instruction page scroll down little bit uh, scroll down and you will get this in point number two of task number three copy this name and paste it here in function entry point sorry replace that name with that copied name click on this dismiss and again come back to live instruction page copy this code from point number three of task number three paste in here paste it here in index.js i mean replace all this code from the copied code then click on this package.json again come back to live instruction page scroll down a little bit from point number four of task number three copy this code replace all the code with copied code then simply click on save and redeploy now just wait for green tick in all this four option just wait for green tick now once you get the uh, green tick in all this all this four option we are done with this task and this process take almost approx one to three minutes so just wait and once you get the green tick in all these four options then simply come back to this buckets option and if you have closed this uh, tab then simply search for bucket in the search box and open this first option you will get this then simply click on this first option which is quick lab click on this first option and then we have to upload any image file so if you have any image if you have any image file in your device then, then simply upload here and if you don't have then simply take a screenshot of anything and then upload so just upload any any png or jpg file you have so click on this upload then upload files so I have uploaded one PNG file. So once you have uploaded any JPG or PNG file you have, then there should be one thumbnail file. But we are not getting any thumbnail file. So click on this test. No. Yes. So just simply try to click on check my progress and let's see that we have got the green tick or not. Okay, so we have got the green tick in task number three. This means that we have completed this task, the task successfully. Then let's move to task number four. For task number four, click on this navigation bar and then from IAM and admin. Click on this IAM and open this in new tab. Now 
now go on to lab instruction page and copy this second gmail id copy this second gmail id paste it here in filter box and then simply click on this email id which you have pasted then click on this edit principles and then simply click on this delete option and then click on save once you are done with this process then simply click on check my progress for task number four you will get the green tick just simply click on check my progress two to three times you will get the green tick here okay so we have got the green tick and we are done with this lab okay so if you like the tutorial tutorial video simply hit the like and subscribe button and if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section and as you will end this challenge lab you are done with this skill wedge you will get this skill wedge so simply end this lab and let's see that we have got the skill wedge or not okay so we have got this skill wedge